Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon 201.19. Today we're going to talk about self-flagellation. Self-flagellation historically has been done by certain religious sects. It's also been done uh, by some people as a form of self-discipline, self-punishment. There are a number of reasons why you might do self-flagellation. Uh, in more modern times, maybe you're, the dominant is distant and the submissive lives farther away and they receive an email or a message with instructions from the dominant to do certain things. So uh, sometimes there, um, there isn't a dominant around that's, that uh, is available to play with a submissive and a submissive has certain needs. So just like in our, in our discussing our sexuality, we might discuss masturbation uh, as a form of self-eroticism. Self-flagellation in BDSM is a valid form. Uh, the YouTube videos aren't about nudity and, and gratuitous sexuality, so you're gonna have to use your pretend cap because the purpose of the video is instructional, so you have to pretend I don't have any clothes on or that I have my shirt off. But, but many of the techniques we've taught in Whips in the Dungeon will work for self-flagellation. The off-the-shoulder throw that I've taught, uh, it begins with an over-the-shoulder. When I come over the shoulder, I hit myself. So I could use that technique to do self-flagellation with any of the whips that we have introduced in the dungeon. I could do that with a cat of nine. Just simply come over the shoulder, you adjust your throw so that it hits the, the portion of your back or your butt. You could go a little deeper and hit your butt going over the shoulder. You can do, do wraps around your body and hit your back. You can do that with a flogger. Uh, you can do that with a galley whip. Uh, you can do wraps around with a single tail. You can wrap yourself around the legs, around the butt. There are a lot of places that you can wrap. And self-flagellation can also be uh, incorporated with other forms of eroticism. Uh, it's just a physical phenomenon. Most people's nipples are connected to uh, other erotic parts of their body. So if I put nipple clamps on, there are varying types of nipple clamps, but if I induce nipple pain at the same time that I'm self-flagellating, for some people that's going to be a very erotic uh, experience as you're able to mix some pain and pleasure. So I'm going to leave it up to the viewer to explore self-flagellation kind of on their own, just as we might explore masturbation on our own. And it really doesn't matter whether we're a male or a female, self-flagellation. Uh, if you find uh, that you like the sensations and there's a circumstance that uh, is appropriate for that, then by all means uh, use some of the techniques that we've taught in Whips in the Dungeon uh, to do that. 